Hello and welcome back to the Joyful Soul Creates. Charlotte here and today I'm participating in a collaboration for Music Day and I'm making three music themed birthday cards using Lawn Fawn's Critter Concert stamp set. So I'm going to start with a very clean and simple card for my first one and I will be stamping the Happy Birthday to You stamp. I'm masking off the ellipsis, the three dots at the end, because it was making the sentiment slightly too long for what I wanted to do and I thought it worked better without it, so I just used a little bit of washi tape for masking that off. Once I had that stamp down, I removed the stamp and put the bear with the little horn of some variety and stamped him down next to it as if the sentiment is coming out of the horn. And I've done my stamping with MFT Black Licorice Hybrid ink which is alcohol marker friendly. Next I'm going to be colouring in the bear. Normally I do my colouring as if the light is coming from the right hand side which in this case would mean the light would all be on the bear's back so I decided to flip it and I'm having my light coming in from the left hand side and putting my shadows onto the back and I'm using some EBs for colouring this bear. I did colour some other bears recently for my Father's Day collaboration hop and I used similar colours on one of the bears there and I'll link to that in the top right hand corner if you'd like to have a look at the colouring of the bears in that one. So I started with my darkest colour and then I'm working from darkest to lightest so I'll come in with my mid-tone and just extend the shadows out and then I will come in with my lightest shade and for this particular image I'm just using three shades. Generally I use three shades, sometimes I will go with more, very rarely I will do just two shades but generally speaking I like the depth that you can get with three shades. And I did use the brush tips for some of the colouring here, but mostly I will use my bullet tips because I find the brush tips on these illustrator markers tend to fray a bit over time, so not overly happy with that. So I tend, tend to use the bullet tips because they're easier to work with. Once I was happy with the body of the bear, I then went and brought in an even darker brown for his tail and the inner part of his ear. And then I decided to do his muzzle very slightly lighter so I used the lightest colour I'd used on his body as the darker colour there and then brought in an even lighter colour as well for the highlight. For the horn or trumpet or whatever you'd like to call it, I'm going with golden colours and here I did just use two shades. As it's such a small area, I felt it didn't really matter if it only has two shades. And then also went in with a white gel pen to add some highlights which is again another reason why it didn't matter if there were only the two shades because the white helps brighten it up a bit. I also added a little bit of highlight to the bear's eye and nose as well. I then used a very light brown, my lightest brown, and gently flicked that in underneath the bear to add some grounding and I used my blender pen to soften the edges of that shadow. I'm going to finish off this clean and simple card by adding some scored line details to the top and bottom of my little scene area, very simple scene. These lines are an eighth of an inch apart between them, so there's three lines above and three lines below with an eighth of an inch between each of the lines. I didn't measure how far above and below the bear and sentiment the lines were, I just kind of eyeballed it, but then I did want them to be equally spaced after that. So that completes card number one, which is very clean and simple, but I think the design works really nicely. Moving on to card number two, and this time I'm again going to be using the happy birthday to you sentiment, but I'm going to be stamping it repeatedly and I'm going to be making rainbow coloured version of this, which is perfect for this month being pride month if you want to make a pride birthday card. I started with ruby red ink from Altenew and then I'm using several Simon Says stamp inks for the orange and the yellow and the green. I will have all the ink colours and all the other products I have used linked in the description box below if you'd like to find them for yourselves and some of those links will be affiliate links. If I can find affiliate links for them I will use affiliate links just because it helps to support me and my crafting at no extra cost to you. Also in the description box will be all the details on the collaboration and all the information for the other videos in the hop so that you can see what everyone else made for World Music Day. So 
each time I stamped the sentiment, I moved up a quarter of an inch, which seemed to be just about the perfect spacing for the colours. And I changed through them in rainbow order, as I said. As a final touch, I'm going to use some of the little musical note images from the stamp set and stamp them in a visual triangle around my sentiment cluster. And that will complete my second card. Again, very clean and simple one layer card, but I think very striking with those rainbow colours. Card number three is the one that took me the longest and is the least clean and simple, but still relatively simple and, and didn't take too long to make. I'm starting with a snippet of watercolour paper and I've treated it with my anti-static powder tool. Then I'm taking the row of musical notes from the stamp set and just stamping them repeatedly all over that paper with embossing ink. I then coated them with clear embossing powder and heat set them and I'm using my new to me wow heat tool for this. You might, if you've watched my videos before, you might be aware that I've been having some issues with my heat gun so I finally got around to replacing it and this was the one I went for after asking for recommendations and so far I'm very happy with it. To colour in the image I'm going to do some ink smushing for an easy watercolour background. I have smushed Distress Oxides in Mermaid Lagoon and tumble glass onto my craft mat and I'm going to spritz them thoroughly with water and bring the watercolour paper to the ink. I'll press it in well to pick up as much of the colour as possible. It does warp the paper but that doesn't matter too much at this stage. I'm then going to speed up the drying process with my heat gun and this particular heat gun has a setting specifically for this so the lower speed setting is great for drying your watercolours and I'm going to go back and forward between smooshing in the leftover ink on my craft mat and drying the layers and just building up the colour until I am happy with it. And I actually, towards the end, got to the point that I wasn't even turning my heat gun off. I would just smoosh, dry a bit, smoosh, dry a bit, and keep going until I was really happy with how it looked. The lower heat setting is just ideal for this because it doesn't remelt the embossing powder, which can happen if you use a regular heat gun for drying the watercolour, and that can cause the watercolour to kind of get trapped in the embossing and it won't stay as crisp and clear, at least in my experience. So once I had finished all the smooshing and so on, I trimmed the panel down and adhered it to my card base and then I used Versafine Onyx Black ink to stamp my sentiments on. I stamped all three of the sentiment stamps that I'd chosen at once. In hindsight, I probably would have used the It's Your Birthday one separately so that I could have moved it up a little bit, but I, I don't think it matters too much. I'm then using some pinstripe peel-offs from Love From Lizzie to border the edge of that watercolour panel and I'll just trim off the excess of those and that will complete my third card. So those are the three music themed birthday cards I made using the Critic Concert stamp set from Lawnfawn for this music day collaboration. Don't forget that links to the other stops in the hop are down below, so be sure to go and check out what everyone else made. I hope you enjoyed this video, please do let me know in the comments down below which of the cards was your favourite. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, you can click the button on screen now to subscribe and make sure you never miss any future videos. There are also a couple of other videos showing on screen that you might be interested in. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Bye!